For many of us, our digestive system is the bane of our existence. It, it plagues us. Uh, but when you think about it, it shouldn't be a surprise. I, I always say, and, and it's a bit of an exaggeration, but I always say, even if you eat the healthiest diet in the world, the most toxic thing, and even if you're the healthiest person in the world, the most toxic thing we do every day is eat. And you probably think, how can you say that if I eat really healthy fruits and vegetables and things, how could that be toxic? Just think about it. We're an organism. And in order to survive on a daily basis, we have to take other organisms and we have to basically shove them in our mouth and we have to chew them up and eat them, break them down and digest them, extract what we need from them and then get rid of them before they poison us, essentially. That we basically have to take these foreign, this foreign matter, whether it's animals or plant, we have to eat them. We have to figure out how to break them down. And it's one thing to break something down in a laboratory with extremes of temperature and extreme chemicals. It's another thing to break down these animals and plants that we eat and figure out how to extract the important nutrients that they contain, do that in our own best interests, keep what we need, get rid of what we don't need as quickly as possible, which is why fiber intake and regularity is so important because fiber intake is critical for the rapid intestinal transit time that's associated with good health. Also, fiber acts to kind of control, deactivate, and capture a lot of the damaging molecules and free radicals and damaging components in the food we eat. But digestion. So I hope you understand now, well, we shouldn't feel badly about our digestive system because it's a universal human truth that we will from time to time, or in many people all the time, struggle with our digestion. It's this system that passes through the middle of us and we must keep it full on a daily basis, delivering the raw materials our body requires and, and doing so in a world that is stressful, in a world that is difficult. And, and we all know that that plays a role in how our digestive system functions and our perceived digestive health. We're also taking a whole range of drugs for different reasons. Many of those drugs not intended to affect our digestive system, but of course, it does undermine the health and function of our digestive system. So again, it should be expected that we have problems with our digestive system. That is a one harsh chemical laboratory that we ask to do the dirtiest chemical work all the time, and then to get rid of all that dirty work before it's toxic to us.